We all have tips and tricks to manage cold temperatures. The best of which are those that come at a minimum cost as you've already spent money heating up your home. So today, I'm gonna to be sharing a few tips with you so you can add them to the list and live more comfortably during the cold winter season. The heat of the sun does keep the house warm, but when the sun goes down, the house becomes cold again. The easiest way to draw in and trap as much heat from the sun in your house is to open the curtains and windows that get direct sunlight. Do this in the morning, keep them open during the day, close them in the afternoon before the sun goes down. You'd be surprised how much this helps. Using a heater is one of the best ways to keep the house warm. To get the best circulation of heat, ensure that you move the sofa and other obstructions away from the heater. Items such as sofas will absorb the heat, therefore preventing it from reaching other parts of the room. To help prevent cold air from coming in, you need to seal as many openings as you can, such as the gap at the bottom of the door. This is a draft seal. It does a really good job at keeping some of that cold air out. And it's also a very economical way of reducing heat loss. It comes in various sizes. This one is 915 millimeters. If it's slightly longer than the width of the door, simply measure the door, transfer and mark the measurement onto the draft seal and cut it to size. Installation is really easy. Dave shows you how in a previous video. I'll put the link in the description below. If you have a door or steel windows that don't close snugly, you're losing heat here as well. Use foam sealing tape on the inside edges of the frame. Preparation is really easy. Give the surface a clean to remove dust, oils, and other substances that could prevent adhesion. Measure the inner dimension of the door frame. Cut the required length from the roll Line up the tip with the corner, peel it off as you stick it on, ensuring that you give it a good press while making sure that you don't stretch the tape. Job done. Now this will make sure that your doors are properly sealed when you close them, therefore stopping the cold air from coming in through those gaps. Cold temperatures means that your geezer needs to work extra hard because your geezer uses the thermostat to either turn the geezer on or off. It monitors the temperature of the water inside the geezer to keep it to a certain temperature. The more frequently the water drops, the harder the geezer works. So covering your geezer will keep the water hotter for longer. So here we have an isotherm thermal installation as well as a standard geezer blanket. These can both be used to cover your geezer, which helps in preventing much of the heat from escaping. The process of covering the geezer is the same. Dave also did a clip on how to install this. I'll paste this link as well so you can follow the instructions and get it done yourself. Now the isotherm thermal insulation can also be used to insulate the actual roof. Yep, so let's grab a ladder and I'll show you how to complete this simple task. Here, all you have to do is measure the distance between the rafters. Cut the isotherm thermal insulation to size with a pair of scissors and lay that on top of the ceiling boards. Hot air rises, and this will stop the heat from escaping through the ceiling. And lastly is a thermoflex used to insulate water pipes. On exposed hot water pipes, it keeps the water warm. On cold pipes, it prevents the water from freezing. Simply unzip it, wrap it around the pipe, close it, and you're good to go. These tips and tricks will definitely make a difference. They'll keep your house warmer and your electricity bill lower. Now remember, everything I've used today is available at Builders, in-store, or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.